I will keep supporting all. And in joining her as the other member of the Dustin couple, we have Miss Erica Mendez, voice of Santa Yunus. And she is here to rock your world. She rocks my world. Absolutely amazing. So thank you guys. Yeah, I have never been up in this area and I've heard amazing things about Sunday, so I can't wait to like fully experience it with you all. Woo! Arta, what shirt are you wearing, by the way, Erica? Neptune was actually my favorite character. 
So fast forward to X amount of years later, I'm now playing her, so that is um, a ridiculous uh, dream for me. <laughs> it's pretty amazing and it's pretty special for me, kind of like what Erica was saying. So I, and again, it, it has kind of started to hit me after two years. Has it been that long? Has it been that long? Yeah. Two years? Almost. Yeah. She knows. <laughs> I go to every anime expo panel. There you go. She knows. We have a pro. So yeah, it's very near and dear to my heart, this whole show, and she really is just so much fun to play, and every time I get to play Meet You Do, I, I just, I feel better about myself for the day, but like, well, today I'm cool. I want to be her when I grow up. You're yeah. always oh, cool, Lauren. Aww. <laughs> Yes. 
one's a little bit easier or harder. Who knows? <laughs> All right, so next question. Erica's going to pick the winner. Okay, so have your eagle eyes ready. Here comes question two. And that is, what is the name and main ending theme of Sailor Moon R the movie? Ooh. Oh dear. Could you say it louder? Sailor Guardians shorts, 
A full half hour special feature of the premiere event and QA session with all the cast, including Fiore and the Castanian Flower. And lots of little highlights, but the best thing of all is the footage looks so amazing. I swear this movie has never looked better. And I have a short trailer to show you a little bit about Sailor Moon R, the movie. Like, I wouldn't hurt a fly, like, what are you? <laughs> Don't be afraid of me or something like that. 
So I don't know, I just, I just really feel attracted to Mom because I feel like we're a lot alike. Jupiter was definitely one of my favorites. Mars was definitely one of my favorites. Uh, you know, there's so many characters, so many great characters out of this show. But um, I have to say my favorite characters, because I can't just pick one, are some of the villains in this show. Because I honestly think Sailor Moon has some of the best uh, anime villains. I really do. Uh, you know, there's the, the Dark Kingdom, which they're, they're pretty amazing. And then the, the Black Moon Clan, I think they're absolutely amazing. And then the Amazon Trio. I think probably, I always come back to the Amazon Trio. The Amazon Trio are like three of my favorite characters in the whole show. Um, but if I had to choose one, honestly, I'd probably say Haruka Uranus because she is just such a cool character, and it's like what you were referring to before is how she she just doesn't care what people think, and there's something very liberating about that that not a lot of people are able to do that. Um, so she obviously has a lot of strength, and I think that's why she's one of my favorite characters, and she's just she's a badass. Oh, dear. <laughs> I think I heard stars. Actually, yeah, like I, um, I honestly, I always knew about Sailor Moon growing up, but uh, I'm from the Midwest, uh, Chicago specifically. So whenever I come from home from school, you know, Sailor Moon would already be like, halfway through or over, so I never really got to watch it. And it was so hard to get back then, or it lost like around my life. Um, don't complain about prices today, but prices back then were way worse. <laughs> um, so. So I never really got to watch it, uh, especially because, you know, stars specifically didn't come out here. Um, but I've seen, you know, since then I've obviously seen clips of it, I've referred to a lot of it now. But uh, some of the clips online that I've seen specifically of like Haruka and, and Neptune, or Ichu, have been uh, the part where uh, they're in Seiya's dressing room. And uh, oh, Neptune oh, oh dear. <laughs> 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 That's what I really want. That's it'll be fun, really though. To, apart from the, the sayings. I'm really looking forward to that, because that's going to be a lot of fun. <laughs> and don't forget, there's Sailor Moon Crystal Season 3 as well. Yeah. That's right. Oh. I know a lot of the girls got kind of, like, sort of revamped. Not revamped totally, but the characters are different in Crystal, so I'm kind of excited to see, like, what kind of Yeah, if it'll, if it'll be uh, different, different. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. All, all these things coming up. So, speaking, you guys mentioned before the back half of Sailor Moon S. I got some cool things to show you, and I got some cool things for you to listen to. So, this is coming out in June. This is the second half to Sailor Moon S. <laughs> so, we have the Anime Expo. It is super sparkly. And I have a very, very special clip for you guys to see. I have to ask, um, no audio, no video recording of this because it is not a final final mix, but it is a very important scene that I know means a lot to Lauren and Erica, and I know it means a lot to Sailor Moon fans. So I am happy to show it to you guys first. Um, it's a little heart wrenching, but very beautiful. So you haven't even seen I, it. I don't even know what she's doing. <laughs> you haven't seen it either, so look at me trolling you. So watch and enjoy. Lovely ladies, and I'm going to show you again real quick. This is what the Blu ray version looks like. Just as glittery, but also on Blu ray. And we have anyone here order their anime through Right Stuff? Yay! If you order through Right Stuff, we have another card set you get for free. There's a 10 card set. 
um, featuring our heroes and our villains. So that will ship to you free while supplies last. So it's really, really cool. All right, now it is time for some of you guys' questions, for audience questions with our lovely cast. If you could just line up here at the microphone. Everyone who asks a question oh will get a lovely treat mm -hmm. because we want to reward you for speaking in public and you'll get a tiara until I run out. So I hope you have really good questions for Lauren and Erica. Awesome cuts. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, I kind of prefer that my sessions are done in the morning because that's when my voice tends to be a little bit. Because I need to be talking about my own, because I don't have a kind of my voice is all turned up and I can't get a chip right now. Um, so I can talk about it. But yeah, I mean, that's pretty much the original for the most part, we do, uh, with the exception of. I know that before I go into a session, I just take kind of a moment to try and get into that zone as well. Because when you're not feeling that way, sometimes it really can come through your performance and through your voice. So definitely try and just, you know, try and push everything aside for at least a couple hours while I'm forward and just kind of go into that zone. Thank you.
only going to give how do we to give this relationship the attention it deserves. You guys smooched. <laughs> I smooched. <laughs> um, it's love. Um, and people ship us apparently, which is a lot of fun. But that's really uh, but uh, yeah, that's I think that's just what it carries is that we know how important it is to people, um, and we really want to show people that that matters to us. Yeah, I would say the intimidating part, especially for me, because I was really like saying I didn't really watch it as a kid, but I knew how much it meant to people. Like, you're kind of saying. Um, so I was like, oh man, you know, not only do I need to like make this right for myself, but I need to make it right for like the people who've been watching this for 20, 25 years. Right. Uh, and that was like super scary for me at first, and it's still scary. I still want to, of course, to make it right. Uh, but the most rewarding part has definitely been, um, even before people even really heard us, because it was about a year before my first, you know, the, the, the concept came out, um, or like even a trailer or anything. And I, I even then, then and now, like I have so many people that come up to me that tell me their stories about, you know, them being afraid to be who they were when they were children or you know teenagers um, until they saw how that they need to do. And how do we and we should give them like, the courage to come out and be themselves and like show that they have a different sexual orientation and that they're just a different person than most people are. Um their society and like right. that. So yeah, just like hearing that stuff and just people have been so supportive when I was like super scared about everything and it just it warms my heart really. That is definitely the most rewarding part is that um, everyone has been so incredibly encouraging and supportive of, you know, ever since we were uh, cast. Well, not even just us, the whole, the whole cast, really. But, uh, yeah, it's, it's, I've had people come up to me who have recently, uh, you know, I've had couples come up to me that have told me that they just were recently married because they, they feel that they can now and they can be open about it, which is amazing to me. Uh, I don't know if they're here, I met them in Denver, but there was one particular couple that they got married as how to go to you. Like, cosplaying is how to go to meet you, and I thought that was the cutest thing. I thought that was so sweet. Uh, but that's been very, very important. Just anybody, um, because it's not about what your orientation is, it's not, it's not about that, it's about love and who you love and you can't control who you love. And, it, you know, that's, what it, that's really what it comes down to. So that's been really important. Giant Pikachu Pikachu! 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 Goodness. Also, uh, earlier uh, Lauren talked about how growing up she really liked this person and actually. So I was just wondering, or uh, growing up, what were your thoughts about Sally Arnaz? Were you a fan? Uh, like I said, I kind of I didn't really know much about it. Like I knew the whole like they're cousins but they're not cousins thing. Uh, but I mean the character designs, I think just in general, uh, are really cool. And uh, yeah, I, I find how to bed each of you just to kind of be
original? Yeah. 